guys. It's a snowman with too loud, too old music.com coming at you with the collection. So welcome to our first episode. Um, it's our new show. And what I'm going to try to do is go through my collection. As you can see behind me, we've got all the CDs, all my vinyls over on that side over there. And we'll just go through a little bit at a time. I'll try to have guests on occasionally, and maybe even some of the artists that are in that collection can come on and talk as well. We don't know yet what all will be in store, but hopefully there'll be some great surprises. Uh, my music collecting started back in high school when CDs came out. Uh, I got a CD player and started collecting CDs. And I had at one time probably 1,800 or so CDs. And then I slowly got rid of the collection over time. And when we moved up here to where we live now, I pretty much dumped my collection. And that was about 10 years ago. I just started listening to digital stuff, um, but I was missing that tangible product. So I started back again after I started my site, the too loud tool music.com and it's been collecting and going nuts ever since. So in that eight years of doing that, I've built up the CD collection again. Now I start doing vinyl when I really wasn't doing vinyl back then. I have cassettes, eight tracks, seven inch singles, all sorts of stuff. So we're just going to go in a little bit at a time. I was originally going to start off and we were going to talk about Kiss because that was the band that got me into everything. But I made a purchase last week that I was really excited about. There was this one CD I was looking for and it was available on Facebook Marketplace, but it was in this massive collection of stuff. And I looked at the price and said, heck, I'd pay that just for the CD. So I bought it. And what we have is a whole box full of stuff that we that I bought just for that one CD. Uh, it's for the band Need to Breathe. Uh, they're one of my favorite bands. Uh, my brother Gary, back, I guess, on their debut album, he had heard it, figured I'd like it, sent me a link. I went and listened to it, immediately went and bought the CD. Uh, and ever since then, I think I bought everything they have put out up until this point. Uh, I've got it all on vinyl and now I'm starting to get it all on, on CD as well. So this got me one of the things I was missing, but it also got me, I'm talking so much more stuff that normally I don't collect. It's got posters and stickers and all sorts of things in there that I normally in the past, I wouldn't have looked at, but now I do. So we're going to go through that um, piece by piece. And there's a lot in here. I've kind of peeked at it a little bit. So we're going to take a look. Um, first thing we have here is a little trucker hat. And it's got NTB and the bear. And Bear Reinhardt is the act, is the lead singer. So that's kind of appropriate. And I love my ball caps, but this one has to get adjusted. But I do like this one. Um, so that is one item. There is another ball cap, another trucker hat. This one says NTB over here, and then it says Brother, and Brother's one of their big singles. If you haven't heard it, they do a great version with Gavin DeGraw. Um, just great pop song. So again, another hat. I need to adjust it to make it fit to my head. Um, but I love hats, so those are going to come in handy. But this is probably my favorite hat in the bunch. NTB, Need to Breathe, nice little gray ball cap. Um, this one, I really like the looks of this one. I got to bend that bill though. Cause you got to have the bill bend a little bit. I don't like those flat things. So that's awesome. I got three hats wear at different times, who knows? Uh, but I love that. And there wasn't just ball caps. There were t-shirts as well. We've got this need to breathe t-shirt right here. Uh, there's nothing on the back. It is uh, extra, extra large, so hopefully it'll shrink a little bit. I, I do wear extra large, though. That's the sad part. Uh, and there was one more T-shirt in here as well. And this one just says, need to breathe. Nothing on the back as well. So, but great. I love T-shirts, band shirts, concert shirts. I'm even wearing one of their shirts from their last tour. So I'm happy about that. Um, then we have something that came in this, so I figured be some cool little posters. This first one, oh, it's really nice. Little feathers. It's got the lyrics to their song, 
what's one where the money is um really cool promotional poster that is awesome i like that i don't know where to put everything there's so much stuff <laughs> this one similar thing with it's got the lyrics to the song wasteland on it but it's got the feathers um really pretty kind of like these i gotta figure out where i'm gonna put all these posters because i don't really have room on the walls for all this stuff um but also included were some seven inch singles um these are limited very limited uh some of these are hard to find this is the one for brother that we were talking about just a little while ago it's got bear on the front and Bo reinhardt on the back um it i don't think it's been open well it has been open but i'm not going to pull it out very hard to find uh, i've actually got one of these but i'll always take a second and who knows maybe i'll sell some of this stuff to make up for the price which was not much then we have this seven inch single uh happy if you could uh on one side it says and difference maker on the other i don't think it is the song happy if you could on the other i think that's a mistake but i don't recall exactly what the other song is pretty red vinyl kind of looks pink on the no that's red okay um but that's a good one i have that one too and in this one you can get on discogs not discogs but uh, ebay right now if you want one uh this one is the song for keep your eyes open it's on a beautiful translucent clear uh vinyl it's got solomon ashes on one side and keep your eyes open acoustic on the other again this one's really hard to find uh i already have this one too uh, so both all three of these i have um so again maybe i'll sell i'm not real sure uh oh cool this is really nice it is a clock it's got the cover to the album the reckoning on it um and i do not have a clock anywhere in this office so this is going to go up on the wall um that's really cool i kind of forgot that was gonna that was in there all right then there was a folder of stuff so we're going to go through and see what's in here that's nothing all right looks like we got some tour promotional posters or album promos need to breathe rivers in the wasteland out now and on the back is the world tour and then they list all the shows right through here um so that's really nice and it looks like i have two of those in here so great i'll keep that uh then we have this stuff looks like it was printed off of a printer so don't really care about this kind of stuff but it's uh some christmas wish from the band there were two of those in there they were pieced together with some tape those aren't really much of anything same with these two items here oh well that's not good anyway we'll worry about that later um just some stuff they printed out um not really interested in that kind of stuff i prefer the posters and that type of thing let's bend down here and pick up some stuff real quick all right there was also this little promo card for the tour and it's got the song multiplied on it and on the back are the tour dates uh, and then there were these great promotional stickers there's two of them in here but they're different this one talks about the album and it says available 825 and this one just says available now so one was before one was after great little stickers love this album cover this is for the cover of the outsider um we'll show a bigger cover of that later but no, nice little stickers i like those things then it had in here a magazine ccm magazine they were kind of considered a christian band when they first started and they they are to some extent their music's very positive at times and they do have some religious content to some of the songs but not all of them they're more you know their country their rock southern rock a little bit of pop they do a little bit of everything um but again they were classified as con as christian when they first came out but that man they look so young there they don't look anything like that now because this was a uh, quite a long time ago i was trying to see if i see a date on here but no this was it's been a long time since their first album so 
All right. So here are some cool things in here. Some music. So thank goodness. I love my music. This is a volume eight of the Insiders. This is Insiders LP volume eight. They have a fan club called the Insiders Club, uh, which is funny. They have an album called The Outsiders. So there's that little play on words there. Uh, each year they put out a disc and it's a collection of live songs from out their career. This was volume eight. I have this one already, but this one's nice and sealed. Um, I have all of them, but I was missing three volumes. I was missing volume one, volume four, and volume six. Uh, however, I'm now I'm only missing volume one and volume four because this is why I bought the set. This is Insiders LP volume six. Um, this has 13 songs on it. Uh, all live songs, again, from throughout the career. So this is, I paid for this box. All I wanted was this, but I'll take everything else. So I'm really excited about having that one. Now I'm only missing two. Uh, also included were a lot more CDs. These are all sealed. Um, this is for the album Hard Love. Uh, great, great album. Uh, very upbeat at times, just some really good, they were a little on the poppier side with this one, which was, which is fine. Um, and it's actually one of my favorite albums. And there were two of them in here. So now I have two. Uh, I have it on vinyl, but I didn't have it on CD. And here's a CD of The Outsiders. Again, sealed. Um, love the picture of the horse with the like target dogs hype on there uh this right here could be my favorite album of theirs uh just so many great songs on it and i love that bear has the eye mark same as the horse on his eye actually they all do when you look at it closely so that's another great one i, I needed the cds because like i said i had all the vol the vinyl but i needed to start collecting the cds and here is rivers in the wasteland this was one of their darker albums. Really interesting. Some of their best songwriting, I think, is on this album. Um, but yes, yeah, so happy to have that on CD as well. And then last on the CD side is Wilder Woods. This is Bear Bryant, Bear Reinhardt, sorry, Bear Bryant, football. Uh, this is Bear Reinhardt's uh, solo project that he has. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he's named it after the kids with Wilder Woods. Uh, great stuff. A little bit different sounding than Need to Breathe, but it's that voice. He's got such an incredible vocal ability, and he can sing the phone book, and I'd pretty much buy it. So that is all that we have on the CD side. But now we also had a ton of vinyl in here. Um, here is the vinyl for Hard Love, which I have that one already. Um but this one's a little different. It's kind of in this wrapper with that cover, a paper wrapper. So I'm really interested to take this out and explore what this one looks like a little bit more. Um, so if it's a really big, if it's a different variant, I'm going to keep that one. Uh, here is their second album, The Heat. Again, I have it. But again, I'll check to see if it's anything different than what I have. What's nice on this one is side four, side D has an etching on it that's really pretty um i just i'll show it when i go through all of their vinyl in another episode what may way down the road and uh, here's the outsiders again but here's the vinyl just look at that picture i mean that is i think that's a great album cover and you can see their eyes a little bit better on this one um this one is still sealed so hasn't even been opened yet um and I knew that was in there. And then I knew this one was going to be in there. This one is Rivers in the Wasteland. Um, fantastic album. This one's on a nice gatefold and stuff. And again, we'll go these in more detail much later down the road. But when I got the box and I first opened it, there were some boxes in there that were sealed that I had no idea what they were. I didn't couldn't tell from the pictures or anything. Um, so I did go ahead and open those to save some time. Uh, first one in there was a band called Shovel and Rope, uh, and it's the album Blood. They have a connection to Need to Breathe. I think they opened for them 
on one of their tours and might even have been on one of their songs. I honestly can't remember it at the moment. This is still sealed. I don't have it. I will keep this one because I'm always up for new music. And then another one that was in there was Maggie Rogers. This is her album. I believe it's called Heard It in a Past Life. I, I know the name. I don't really know anything about her. So I'm really intrigued to open this one up and give this one a spin. Because, again, I like new music. Uh, but the one that was in there that really blew me away is this is a very hard to find vinyl. I went on Discogs. There are none. There's one on eBay, but it's expensive. And this is Need to Breathe's Live Acoustic Volume 1. It's their first acoustic live album. This thing is a double LP. And if I'm not mistaken, there's an etching on side D as well. Um, but this right here, if I sold this at the price I think I can get for it, it would pay for everything else that I got. Uh, but we will see if it's a different variant than the one I have. I'm keeping it. Um, there was also from Hard Love a turntable mat, and I actually have another one of their turntable mats with a different logo on it. And I'm gladly taking another one. I like to replace them out and change them every so often to give it a different, different look when it's not playing. All right, and we also have a bunch of posters. These are all concert promotional posters. This one is from December 6th, 2010. Um, at the, some little, I mean, these things are gorgeous. There's a ton of them in here. Um, and I'm really excited about finding a place to put these things. Here is another one. This is November 4th, 2010. I mean, look, they're just, they're all so pretty the way they, designed them up they're all very different um here is a promotional poster for their outsiders album nothing on the back of any of these um but really cool to have some promotional stuff i need to buy one of those portfolio books to put all these things in uh because now here's one this is for their debut album daylight uh that's really awesome and then they have a, this one has something on the back uh, this is the album that got me into the band, their first one, and I've been hooked ever since. All right, here's some more of the promotional tour posters. This is November 18th, 2010. Again, really fascinating stuff. Oh, it's a Fire EP release party. That's one of their EPs that I do not have. I have never, ever seen it for sale. Um, so if anybody has an extra one out there, drop it in the comments. Here's something from 2006. Looks like they were on the bill for this, um, this tour. Really nice. I love all these promotional posters. All right. Then we have this need to breathe December, December 15th, 2010 in Tempe, Arizona. That was the poster for them. Oh, wow. Okay. This is beautiful. I love this one. November 30th, 2010, Austin, Texas one. That is really gorgeous. I think that could be my favorite one of the bunch. Um, and we have this November 17th, 2010, St. Louis, Missouri man just really cool stuff and then lastly we have need to breathe daylight this is an album flat promotional piece from their debut album and uh wow that is really cool so and i thought there was something else in there i know i had some stickers i hope i didn't throw the stickers away when i threw away all the packaging and that's very possible so but that was everything in that box. I mean, good grief. That was a lot of stuff. All for, I think I got it for 80 bucks plus shipping. So it was less than $100 for all of that stuff. Um, and I was really excited. It was like Christmas when I got it again. So, so that's it. Um, I want to thank you for joining us. 
Please hit subscribe if you haven't already so you can be alerted to any of the other shows. If you want any Too Loud, Too Old music merchandise, you can go to tpublic.com. You can also get some of my friend's stuff from Grab a Stack of Rock and Tim's Vinyl Confessions. I'll leave links down below. Thanks again for joining us. And until next time, have a great day.